In this demonstration, you will see how to modify and edit surface models using AutoCAD surface editing commands to finish the body design for a shaver. When combined with commands that enable you to trim, extend, fillet, project, and sculpt models, the ability to make surfaces from 2D profile shapes and dimensional constraints is a powerful design workflow. First, we need to cut connecting holes into the body. Here, I've located the spots for holes on a plane away from the body. I can use the trim command to cut the holes through the body of the shaver. Once I have the shapes projected onto the surface of the body, I can simply specify what area to trim off. The new Project to UCS command provides an efficient means for you to precisely locate features quickly. When design changes occur, whether through analysis or visual aesthetic, you can quickly and easily make the changes. The third hole that I placed on the body is no longer needed, so I can use the untrim command to remove it just as quickly as I placed the hole. Analysis on the body reveals that we need the last hole, but it should be projected down to a UCS axis rather than normal to the surface. The Project UCS command imprints the profile shape on the model surface. Using the Auto Trim setting, you can trim the imprinted area without selecting it as I just did using the Trim command. Now that the body has the holes in the proper locations and projections, I can blend the holes I made in the body so that when it's shelled, there will be material there to form a hole. I'm going to use the Blend command to do this. I can also specify the continuity and bulge magnitude of the edges where the created surface meets the other surfaces. This provides more control when capturing design intent. The shaver cutting head sits inside the top of the shaver and also needs to be straight for assembly purposes. Using the extend command, I can utilize my existing design and quickly capture the shape I need. In order to finish my design, I can convert the shaver to a solid model and use AutoCAD's 3D tools to finish the model. In order to do this, I need to close up all of the open ends. Here, I can use the patch command to close them up. On the top end, I'm applying a flat patch, taking advantage of the existing geometry so I don't have to figure it out myself. I can specify the continuity and bulge as well as to constrain the geometry. Now, I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom of the shaver. This time, instead of making a flat surface, I'm going to adjust the continuity to give the shaver more of a rounded look. I'm going to give the surface I created tangential continuity for a smooth transition from the bottom to the body. Sharp edges can provide problems. To help avoid these potential problems, I'm applying a fillet between the top face and the extended face using the fillet command. AutoCAD again does the hard part here. I just need to specify what I want rounded. Similar to the normal fillet command for 2D AutoCAD, I can specify a radius and pick the objects that I want filleted. Using these commands, you may find that they function similar to the commands you're already familiar with, which is a great benefit. Now, all the open areas of the body have been closed off with the use of the blend, patch, and fillet commands. I'm ready to convert my design to a solid model so I can hand it off to manufacturing. The sculpt command enables me to stitch all the surfaces together to form a single solid model. As you can see, AutoCAD surface creation and surface editing tools enable you to bring your design to the shop floor with added efficiency.